economic revolution may not have the same effect. Understandably, Wandi is reluctant to discuss anything faintly political. He has, however, invited me back to his house. My chance to see how the local people live. Uh, this is a traditional way to Tibetan uh, welcoming someone. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. That's very kind. Yeah. yeah. Ah, thank you. Yeah. Wandi's house doesn't appear to be particularly ethnic Tibetan. Wow, this is lovely. Yeah. But then again, neither does his wife. Uh, her name is Clary. Oh, Clary, hello. hello. How are hello. you? Pleased nice to meet, meet you. you. Hello. Yes. How are you? It turns out Clary is from Holland, so how did she end up here being married to a nomad? I've been working as a tour leader for 12 years. Three years ago, I met him. I was, you know, I was guiding a group, mm. and he was my local guide. Ah. So I saw this man, and I thought, oh. <laughs> oh. I'll snap him up. Uh, interesting. Yeah. I'll come back next month. And mm -hmm. then, uh, mm -hmm. Well, now I'm here. And how do you, how do you find life here? I mean, completely different from life in the West, of course. It's okay. It's, you know, it's peaceful, it's quiet, it's not very hectic or stressful. When I came to Lebron the first time, that was about 12 years ago, at that time, you know, this was really like a Wild West town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the main road was just like a, a path, mm -hmm. you know, and the people were very wild and, and all these motorbikes were not there yet. People came to town on horseback or on yak back. Being a foreigner here, I was hoping Clary would feel free to speak openly. Do you fear that this new road, new people coming in, will sort of dilute the Tibetan culture, will, you know, will um, dilute the culture that's here? I fear it will. I, I don't know, of course, but I do fear that it will bring more bars and discos, mm. uh, things like that, you know, which uh, Tibetans usually don't, you know, they don't have this no, kind no. of thing. And a lot of Chinese will come in also with businesses and um, it, it might become a little bit more Chinese after some years. So Lebrang's traditional lifestyle may soon be disappearing. But we're now on our way to visit some of Wandi's family and friends who still lead the truly nomadic existence. And as always, we're not travelling alone. We've acquired yet another minder. We have uh, we have three of them now. We have the Beijing minder, who's been with us from the beginning. We have sort of a local minder coming to this area. Now we have a, a regional government official is also with us. You know, we're in the Tibetan region and uh, the history of that and uh, China over the last sort of 50 years is fairly torturous. And I think they're just worried about what we're going to say and um, what we're going to do. Up on the Sang Ki grasslands, the nomads are constantly on the move, seeking fresh grazing for their herds of yak and sheep. It's a simple existence, although even here there are signs of change. Wandi is confused because just a couple of days ago this camp was full of families. But we then discovered that one of our government minders paid a visit here yesterday and warned people to be very careful what they said to us. So most, have now left. Wandi's friend invited us in for refreshments, but the family were clearly nervous. Oh, this is the Tibetan yak milk tea. That's lovely. And this uh, this fire here is very good. What's burning away there? Uh, that's one of the yak down, the dry, then they put inside here, then pull it down, then burn it. Uh -huh. I see. And like this place, they stay about one or two months, then they move to another place. Can you ask this gentleman here, has he any desire to live in any other way? Has he ever a desire to live in a big city? He likes more nature and nomad life. Mm -hmm. you see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was keen to show them they had nothing to fear from us. If there's one thing you can always rely on to bring humanity together, it's a balloon. Especially with people who've never seen one before. Do you like one? one, one, one? Yeah. No? No, no. 
We don't want to make the mistake of thinking that just because we're from the West that somehow we have a superior lifestyle to them, so I don't think that's necessarily the case at all. The guy in the corner was saying earlier, you know, he loves working in nature, he loves working with animals, and, you know, would he be better off working as an accountant? I doubt it. All right. I've been invited to join them for lunch, lamb cooked Tibetan style. How many accountants do you know who can do this? I suppose it's quite a bizarre concept, really. The, the, the sheep's being stuffed inside its own stomach. Nothing is wasted. Uh, yes, because on the grass and on the mountain, they are difficult to get the uh, cooking pot and yes. so. No kitchens here. No kitchens, that's <laughs> yes. where it's yeah. Yeah. Once the stomach is stuffed, hot stones are added to cook the meat. How many stones will you put into the uh, stomach to cook it? Uh, 20 about. 20? Okay. Yes, stones. <laughs> it's fascinating to watch this because this has been done for, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years. 20 minutes later, and you take it out of the oven. Mmm, it's good. The freshest lamb I'll ever eat. I'll find some mint growing nearby because it's mint sauce. Wandi used to live amongst these people until he was 16 years old. Do you miss this way of life? Yes. Now I live in the town, there are uh, noise and mm -hmm. uh, lots of life, uh, more stress. And this, this lifestyle, is, is this under threat? Will it always be here? Or? Yeah, uh, we hope always be here, but also the government, they have planning to make airport here in this area. An airport? Yeah, then will be big change for the one life. What, an airport here? Yeah. That's going to ruin it somewhat, isn't it? Yes, right. Place will become full of tourists, I suppose. Yes, then become a tourist place, this area. Mm -hmm. That'd be a bit of a shame. Yes, right. I feel fortunate to have seen this place before it's too late. There's been a moving experience. This little boy still finds wonder in a balloon. What will he make of the jumbo jets that will soon be landed in his backyard? <laughs> <laughs>